Hi guys, Robert here, back with another video. This time I will show you how to make an epic hard bass track. The first thing that you will need to do is to get an authentic hard bass dock. You can sample it from anywhere. Then open FL Studio, set the tempo to 150 BPM, and create a cool melody with the dong. Don't forget to add some swing. Now I will add more donks to make the leads more unique. Then I will add some effects to make them stand out in the mix, and I will cut the low frequencies around 100Hz. For the lower frequencies I will use a sub bass that it's playing the same notes as the donks. And because this is an epic hard bass tutorial we will need to add a brass. And the most important part of a hard bass track it's the kick. Try to get one that sounds dirty and layer it with a ride. Then you can create a reverse effect like this one. Basically this is the main lead. But I used the reverse function from FL Studio and then I adjusted the length and in settings. The drop it's ready, but because I said this will be something epic I wanted to create a variation of the melody. After the first drop I used the same donks but I pitched them down to make a downlifter. Then I created another melody. And for the ambience I added a police siren. Then I created a build up using some effects and some build up drums. For the second drop I wanted to make it more like a trap song. In order to get that trappy feeling I created a simple beat and I added an 808. For the top melody I used a vocal sample, and that's it. By the way guys, I almost hit 100k subscribers on my YouTube channel and I want to thank you so much for all the support. I decided that it's the time to make a giveaway. So basically I am giving away 3 pairs of Audio Technica ATHM 50X. To enter the giveaway you will need to click the first link in the description and follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to enter your details. I will announce the winners on the 1st of August. And the first 100 people that will use the discount code 100k will receive 20% off on all my sample packs. Let's see how the final result sounds like.